it's time to discuss a little bit of traveling with our beloved pets or our dogs or our cats. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to share, I got to get the truck ready for um, the next adventure probably to go up north. And uh, I just wanted to share with you just a couple of items that we use in the back of our truck with our dogs uh, that make the journey a little bit uh, smoother for us. And um, the first thing that we do, which I got to clean, is we have um, a seat cover. And this is made by Barks Bar. And I absolutely love it. Uh, it's very messy right now, but I can shake it out and throw it in the washing machine and it protects my seat somewhat. Um, I think our last trip, Miggy got car sick. Yeah. And it looks like I'm going to get the carpet cleaner out and clean some upholstery today since it's supposed to be up near. Uh, but anyway, we had uh, a question asked on our Facebook group about reducing anxiety during trouble. Due to, uh, this per particular person's dog has a medical condition that is exacerbated whenever the dog gets like stressed out. And I totally get that because my new puppy that we just got this year, Miggy, he gets car sick horrible. Um, it's pretty bad when the second you put him in the car and start to back out, you look back there and he's got drool going down his chin. And you are celebrating when you make it three quarters of a mile down the road without throwing up. So this has been an issue. We are a big traveling family. Um, Chloe, or a Pirador, has always loved the adventure. She's never gotten car sick. She loves looking out the window. She, We've never had a problem. So this is completely new to us. So we have gone to the vet multiple times to discuss travel anxiety and motion sickness with the vet. She thought he was going to outgrow it by, by his age, which he's five and a half months, but he has not. And a poor guy, he just has a tough time. So anyway, she prescribed a medication, which I will list that medication below, except the deal is, is you got to um, withhold the food for two hours before travel and also administer this medication two hours prior to travel. Most of the time when we decide to go, it's like Thursday night or Friday morning, we'll say, hey, let's go here. And so then we're hooking up Friday evening and we're leaving for the weekend. So that just does not work for us. So um, when it, my sister had suggested to me and I did a little research and I'm going to demonstrate on Chloe. Uh, for you guys in just a couple minutes if she's a willing party. If not, Miggy will be. <laughs> but um, to use an ace bandage to wrap them with, uh, that it's much like a thunder shirt. And we're going to give that a shot this weekend, so we'll have to let you know uh, on our Facebook group. If you haven't, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Um, and click the little bell and also the links to our Facebook group will also be there. But anyway, we'll let you guys know how it goes. But all, this last couple weekends ago, we went up north and I had to really storm on what to do with Miggy because I knew it was going to be about a two hour drive. And I just didn't want him uncomfortable the whole trip. So what I did is I took his uh, bed from his, his uh, crate and I put it in the back seat of the truck. And when I did that, I just set it up here. And when I did that and put him in the back of the truck, he immediately went to his bed and curled up in a ball and rested. Um, he didn't do a whole lot of moving, you know, and my husband, Sarge, was a little worried about it but I told him I was like he's comfortable he's sleeping he's fine just let him be and he was not throwing up that was the big thing 
so uh, we stopped. We took our potty break. Uh, they went out, wet potty. He enjoyed that. He came back in the vehicle. I get, did give him a drink of water to keep him hydrated. And he threw up. But that was once. <laughs> so we were doing good. So the vet, I told the vet about this and she suggested that I just move the bed down to the floorboard so that he cannot see out the window and that that might help with some of that vertigo that he has. So we're going to try that and we'll see how that goes. Um, some of the things I bring, make sure that I have their extra leashes. Um, I do have extra stuff in their to-go bag, which... I have described the, I will put a list of some of the things that I put in there, but those are things that I absolutely will not travel without with dogs. Um, Chloe's Halty, um, got Miggy stuff, and I keep Chloe's, Chloe's backpack in here just in case we go for a hike. But um, this Marks Bar has been wonderful, very easy to put on. Um, if her back seat, if the distance between her seats and the back of the truck was a little bit closer, then I would be able to completely cradle it in, uh, which will help secure them on the back seat and not on the floorboard. But that doesn't work for this truck, but which is okay. I still have very good protection. I love it because I can vacuum it out, shake it out, and stick it in the wash and clean it up. So anyway, I am off to get the shop back, and I'm going to start cleaning up this truck for our next Another one of our Facebook gals who asked the question about what to do when it's raining outside and you got a very active dog and tips and tricks for that. You know, uh, we do the same thing she does. We toss the ball inside the camper for Chloe, um, play little games, tug of wars, and stuff like that. Uh, one thing, Chloe loves to watch TV. I don't know if it's the new TVs or if I got a weird dog. I may just have a weird dog because that's how I roll. Anyway, um, Chloe loves to watch TV, and one of her favorite programs is actually Lucky Dog. I'm not promoting or nor am I endorsed by that show but we love to put that on she will all we'll do is say Chloe lucky dog and she is over by the TV she watches about half the a show maybe a show and a half she's done it's time to throw the ball again the bottom line is is when you're out camping you're gonna incur come across any kind of weather it could be storming it could be raining it could be snowing it could be it's michigan guys up here or if you're out in the west it could be anything um hopefully it's a nice sunny day but if it's not you know you are probably because of confinement you're gonna have to put that leash on that dog and go for a whack what I normally do is I already have um, an old towel next to the door inside. And when I return back from my walks and her paws are all muddy and she's wet and yuck, I wipe her down before she goes into that camper. Um, after she's in the camper, you know, I get the most of the stuff off of her. Then I wipe off the rest. But activity is so important. Um, and never, ever, ever take your dog off leash unless you have an excellent recall on that dog. You are in a strange environment, a new environment, an exciting environment for them. And there's a lot of stimulus around. So even the most perfect of dogs may not necessarily listen to you because there is just so much that they're taking in at the moment. For me personally, for pet safety, I never take her off leash. If I want to give her a little bit of freedom, I always put her on a retractable and give her the freedom with the retractable. But I never have my dog off leash.
guinea pig here to demonstrate to you um, how we wear some of these things that I've talked to. And as you can see, she's already walking up to me because these things mean an adventure to her. Um, they are not by any means punishment. It's a, we're going to go somewhere. So this, I fit the halty over her snout like this. And this is by far, I can fit three fingers underneath here. And same thing here. I want to make sure that all of this is nice and loose. One thing I like about the Halti brand is that it has this safety clip. And this will clip, yeah, this will clip right here onto her collar. That way you are never 100% detached from your dog at any time. If for any reason they are able to snag off that Halti, you're still connected. So, come here, Chloe. Come here. So, one of the things when we go um, hiking is that she will wear a backpack. And she loves this. And I will show you how we get this on her. It has a little clip right here. It goes around the belly. We'll get this undone, yes. So I'm gonna get this right through the center. This has a breastplate, and as you can see, she's putting her head through it. She loves this. Um, again, it means that we're gonna go somewhere. So it's kind of like a saddle, sort of speak. It has a strap that comes up under. You will clip that to the breastplate. And it's got a padded strap. I don't think you could. For this, we have a breastplate right here and she slipped her head and it latches right here in the front from, and it's hooked to the strap that goes around her chest. This then comes around and I have to readjust it for this year because my girl's gotten a little bigger. And it just clicks right in place. It has a secondary strap that goes right around the waist. And again, it clicks right in. Um, these I do not keep. I want her to be as comfortable and free movement as possible. So she loves this. It means she's working. So I'm going to have her stand up. Up. Oh, come here. Oh, good girl. So she's got a nice size pocket here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one bottle of water. It's 16.9 ounces is what I put in here. This 16.9 ounces weighs 1.1 pounds. And remember what I, I had discussed that a dog can carry up to 10% of their body weight. And right now she weighs 52 pounds. I round it down because I don't want her to be too heavy. So I round it down that she's 50 pounds. So therefore I know she can safely on her back without any harm to her spine, can carry a balanced load of five pounds. So I'm going to zip this up. In her other pocket, I wanna make sure that if I have 1.1 pounds here, I want 1.1 pounds on the other side to keep her balanced. So in this pocket, I'll put another water bottle so that she has, has a balanced load. And remember, um, I do put in her to-go bag all her paperwork. I also have all her copy of all of her microchip, her rabies, and all her vaccination paperwork. I do keep that on her when we are on a hike. 
I will um, also put my EpiPens, my EpiPens in her pouches. You're right, is it your job to help mama? Yep, I'll put her EpiPens in her pockets and also I'll put any medication that I might be on at the time in her pocket that I might need during the day. Um, she'll, a lot of times will carry dad's wallet. Well, we, anytime you add weight to one pouch, you need to make sure that you add weight to the other. So right now I know that she has 2.2 pounds in her on, on, and she has a balanced load. Um, and so if I add a little bit of weight here, I'll also add a little weight on the other side up to a maximum of five pounds for her um, due to the fact that I want her to be comfortable. Realize that the more you work your dog out, the more in shape they're gonna be and the better they are to do work like this. This is Maggie and we are gonna attempt to demonstrate how we do our thunder vest with an ace bandage. Sit up. So the first step is that we're gonna get about midway and wrap this around him. Once you have it around, you wanna crisscross around the back. And then you're going to wrap this up underneath. And we're gonna wrap this one up underneath so that you got both ends, they're crisscrossed underneath. And then up here, we are just gonna give it a quick little loose tie so that the back of your thunder vest is gonna look like this. You have it tied. So you bring it around, crisscross, wrap underneath here. You do not want this tight. You need to have it somewhat loose, but snug. You wanna be able to slip your fingers in, but this needs to be snug. You don't wanna constrict the dog's breathing at all. But anyway, there we go. Come here, Miggy. Come here, come here. I didn't think he likes this. But yeah, this is Miggy, and we are going to try our Thunder Bus um, on our next trip this coming weekend. And we're going to see if this helps make him feel a little bit better for our trip. See his tail's wagging. He's all good. Yep. Here's a Miggy.